Well, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Jeff Grimes. I am the AWS Global Startup Program Leader, and uh, it is a pleasure to um, go through some topics on go-to-market um, with everyone here on the session today. So um, as we get into the agenda real quick, really the purpose of today's conversation uh, is to help any software company, big or small, to better partner with AWS. So if you're a startup building a partnership and listing on Marketplace for the first time, I think that this will be a great foundation for you. And if you are a large established ISV looking to drive better results, um, this might make you aware of some blind spots or some opportunities to improve some of your daily execution. But in any case, um, I'm about to share four very specific action items that I believe will set you up for long-term success partnering with AWS. So even though these are super simple in, um, in nature, um, you really gotta be willing to spend the time and get them right because the quality of the details here is super critical. Um, and they're also gonna build on each other. So skipping action item number one and going straight to uh, number three, will not work out very well. So I highly encourage everyone take a look at each one of these steps and make sure that you're implementing them in order um, so that you can see the best chance of success here. All right. So um, as we get into it, um, it's really important to understand the depth and breadth of both AWS native services and the AWS partner community. Um, and I say that because we all know that AWS has hundreds of native services and the partner community is massive. There are thousands of solutions out there. So you really have to understand what is your story and what outcomes are you going to be delivering to your end customers? And so to that end, we got to be as clear as possible answering this question, what specific repeatable outcomes does your solution deliver to AWS customers? And the two key words here are specific and repeatable. Um, and the reason I say that is because I think this is where a lot of partners go wrong, right? Like the immediate reaction to this question is we do this and we do that. And, you know, we've got our tagline on our website and, and that should work out pretty well. Um, but usually that's not the case for building a strong foundation for a partnership here. And so any partner that I work with, I typically ask them, when is the last time that you asked one of your direct customers this exact question uh, and got their feedback um, and get their opinion on this? Um, because I think you will be pleasantly surprised as to how they view your solution relative to their journey on AWS. And I think that is the best source to get this answer clear and then start to build the foundation for your, um, for your partnership. So it's absolutely critical that you get this clear and specifically work back from documented outcomes, because I think part of the tendency here is to talk about what could happen or what might happen. Um, but we really need to build the foundation of the partnership based on what has happened and where you can find that repeatability. Um, two more very simple but important ideas to note here is try your best to focus on customer demand that you know is real today. Um, and there's a little bit of a tricky one, as we all know, like you need to skate to where the puck is going, not to where the puck is today. And I was actually hoping to throw in a go Kraken statement there, but we lost last night. I'm in Seattle right now. And so we're all kind of bummed that the Kraken lost, but they had a good run. But either way, um, you really need to base the partnership today on where the customer demand and needs are, and then iterate from there as you expand your product and you expand your, your partnership. Um, and then I think the last thing here is just simply do your best to avoid the fluff. Um, I think there's a natural tendency to say we are the best, we are the first, we are the only. None of those statements answer this exact question. So get specific 
get really clear on what this is. And I think that will help you build uh, the proper foundation for what your story is with AWS customers. And then as we go to the next slide, um, I think these ones will be pretty obvious for those who are already partners, but I wanna get really clear for those who are not. Um, you just simply need to advance your partner status quickly. Um, so if you can get the story clear, then you just have to go through the basic blocking and tackling to get through the, um, the onboarding process here. Um, and so first step is obviously register as a partner, but initiate your foundational technical review immediately. Um, this is our mechanism to validate that your software is secure, is safe, is cost effective, et cetera, for AWS customers. And it might look a little bit overwhelming at first glance, um, but we've got all kinds of resources and help to get you through this. So you can start to progress your journey um, through the Amazon partner network. And then obviously a lot of reason you all are all on the call is for marketplace. So listing on marketplace, I think at this point in time is table stakes to build a go to market um, partnership with AWS. And obviously tackle can do a phenomenal job of accelerating that process um, and making it as efficient as possible. And then as we just go on to the last two, so advance through the partner path. Um, so Partner Central is the tool that you all will use on a daily basis as a partner of AWS. Make sure to advance through the software path if you're a software partner, um, services path if you're a consulting partner. Um, and again, there are plenty of guides to make you understand exactly what needs to happen there. And then my last piece here is if you plan to co-sell with AWS, um, ISV Accelerate is our main um, co-sell program to help align incentives and priorities for AWS account teams to help you get deals done um, with mutual customers. So your partner development manager uh, will be able to help you out on the ISVA Accelerate path. And I think if you can do all this really well in short order on top of a strong story, um, you will be set up to... Uh, to start to see some success with AWS. All right, action item number three. This one I am super, super passionate about um, because I think this is the single greatest lever that you have to build a go-to-market partnership with AWS. But I also believe that it is the most underappreciated or underutilized lever um, in my experience working with partners over the last five years here. So if we take a look at this and we start with seller training, um, I think there's two main questions that you need to ask. Number one, how often do you actually train your sellers? And then number two, how do you know if it is actually working or not? Um, and the, the question of how do you know if it's working or not is super relevant because many times partners will come to me and say, Jeff, I do the training once per quarter. It looks like this. I've got all the content built. We're in great shape. Um, but then when I go and ask the sellers, a lot of times they're pretty lost in exactly what's going on. And so I think you just need to be brutally honest on this last question. And whatever the answer is, just be willing to take action on it. So a quick tip for me that I've seen work really well is consider doing non-scalable things here. Like for example, doing check rides with your sellers to make sure that they're comfortable working with AWS. Um, walking them through their first marketplace transaction. Doing small group trainings, like single sales manager trainings with their group and doing that 10 times over depending on the size of your company. Um, yes, these things take time. And they are certainly not scalable, but in my experience, these are the tactics I've seen take a seller from lost and confused, not really sure what to do as they approach an AWS partnership and transacting through Marketplace um, to achieving a level of confidence that makes the partnership motion for them very, very natural. So I know that that's not something that many people probably want to hear, but I think being as effective as possible is what matters here, not 
being as scalable as, as you really want. So however you want to go about that, um, I think that's something to take into consideration and really focusing on two main pieces. One, are your sellers clear on what the Better Together story is with AWS? Um, are they all telling a, cons a consistent story or are they all telling something different, depending on how you, who you talk to? And then two, are they completely comfortable with the marketplace conversation, both on how to leverage the marketplace to get their deals done quicker, but also are they just familiar with the overall process? Each company has um, a little different version of how they operationalize getting transactions done through marketplace. And I've seen a lot of sellers kind of understand at a high level, here's how it works. But when it gets down to the details, um, there's, there's still confusion there. So I think make sure that your sellers are very clear on both of these dynamics. And that will be the leverage that you need to really accelerate your journey with, um, with AWS. And then finally, this one might sound obvious, but it's incredibly effective. Focus on your top producers. Um, put an, uh, an outsized percentage of your time on the top pursuit, uh, top producers, make them successful. And then I think you're going to see the rest follow. Um, you know, that has been a, a super successful tactic in the past because everybody wants to follow the top seller. And I think if you get that individual comfortable with what's going on here, then you're going to start to be able to scale your efforts if you're an alliance manager or running partnerships. Okay. The last piece here, action item number four is build a plan um, and be willing to stick with it and make it a living document. Um, I think oftentimes we put these plans together um, and they're a stag static document that we spend hours and hours building um, and then it gets put somewhere and it basically just collects dust never to be opened again. So we really want to avoid that um, and, and produce a living document that is being iterated upon and worked on uh, between your partner development manager and um, your team um, on the partner side. So one thing that um, I think AWS needs to do a better job of, of helping partners out is making sure that um, you avoid the activity box, right? Being busy to be busy. And I think a lot of times I see alliance leaders, VPs of partnerships, super, super busy. They're talking to a lot of people. They're getting interest from various pockets within the community but it's all kind of randomized and they're not really sure what path they're on. So although it's good to try a lot of different things, we got to have a plan. And I think that all starts with making sure that you're really, really clear on the three fundamental um, components of building a partnership, build, market, and sell, right? And if you can get a very clear plan on all three of those components, and doing it in that order, making sure that your technical integration is sound, uh, everything on the build side is clear so that we can tell a good marketing story and then finally pursue the co-sell route is um, the order that you should consider going in um, when I know it's attractive to try to go direct to co-sell or direct to go to market. We just have to make sure that the technical story is sound um, and that we're building on a repeatable, mo on a repeatable motion. And then the final piece I'll say is focus on operational excellence. Um, and again, this is where Tackle can really accelerate your partnership journey. So um, building a partnership with AWS requires the use of new tools, such as APN, Customer Engagements Tool, ACE, uh, which is where you share uh, and receive sales opportunities working with AWS account managers. Um, Tackle does a really good job of making life much easier here. Um, so you can adopt these tools quicker, easier, and with less friction. Um, and it's just a, you know, core component of the partnership that you need to take into consideration, knowing that if you don't do that piece well, uh, it can really start to slow down your efforts um, with AWS. So those are my four points uh, as far as building a successful partnership with AWS. I know they are su super simple, but if you do these well, I think you're going to start to see um, some pretty good results. So 
as a reminder, get the story right. Most important. If you can't get that right, do not pass go. Do not do the next three steps. Uh, advance your partner step, partnership status quickly. Enable your sellers and then enable them again and then maybe do it one more time. I think my message is clear here. This has got to be a focus for you all. Uh, and then build a plan and be willing to stick with it. So that is my presentation today. I hope that I was, that is helpful for everybody. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck.